Hey guys, what's up? This is AK from Akshas Techno World. As you can see, I have got a Motorola Moto E and it's running Android 5.0.2. So, in this video, I'm gonna be talking about what bugs are there in this Android 5.0.2 on Motorola Moto E. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about really very minor bugs also, which you won't really find in any other video currently available on YouTube. So, let's start with the major work. First of all, there is no uh, multi-user support, there is no guest user mode and this is actually, I think, not a bug because Motorola is actually intentionally not put the guest user mode in Motorola Moto E uh, due to the fact that Motorola Moto E already has uh, a really limited internal storage and multiple users will actually consume more internal storage, as simple as that. Anyways, let's move on to the next one. Uh, sometimes when when there are no apps in the overview but suddenly if you press the overview some random app just switch, switch up you can see that random app here like just 10 seconds ago you can see that that uh, contacts app was there but I actually didn't open it and it actually occurs at random time so I actually can't say when it will occur so I can't actually demonstrate that no anyways that's a bug Anyways, let's move on to the next one. Uh, you can see I am using the Google Now Launcher and there is a bug with this Google Now Launcher also on Lollipop. Uh, you can see I press home button, nothing happens. I go to this screen by swiping right, go to home, click it again. Uh, it works like this. You can see repeated tapping of this home button sometimes brings you to this screen but it actually reduces if you add another home screen then the frequency of this bug happening will actually get reduced but it will actually happen still anyways I prefer to use only a single home screen so that's the bug you can see it actually didn't used to be this this way in Tilkit Cat anyways let's move on to the next one this is a really interesting one. I bet you won't find this bug anywhere on YouTube. In the battery, uh, you can also go to battery by clicking on settings and battery. In the battery, here are the options. Go to battery saver. You can see here is the toggle of on and off. Battery saver on off. But it actually disappears when you click the search button and then go back. Boom boom it's magic there's no toggle now to get it again go again you'll get it click on search it it just disappears i don't know where <laughs> this is really funky bug uh anyways uh yeah another bug is that uh, in the battery section if we press on this you can see this little mess up right over here I think this should be a bug enough because actually these are just actually overwriting over something you can see it's I don't think it was intentionally put by Motorola and by bug I just mean and th and this is the official definition of bug a bug is anything which is not intentionally put by mo put by the manufacturer put by the respective manufacturer so this is a bug anyways let's moving on uh, you can see that everywhere these wavy animations are there and they cover the whole horizontal screen uh, but if we go to storage misc miscellaneous uh, you can see it does not cover it's not covering this little portion right over here and this little portion right over here you can see at the bottom also so this is also a really uh, interesting bug you won't find anywhere on YouTube. Anyways, moving on to the next bug. On Lollipop 5.0.2, uh, production of cache is, has increased. I need to clear cache with a higher frequency than it used to be till KitKat. This may not be a bug but I have actually included that. Just take it for general information you can say that. Anyways. Uh, let's moving on to the next one. I think I should I should have discussed this really before. There is no silent mode. 
you can't go down that down that this down then this vibrate mode it's the it's the least you can go but enabling silent mode um, can actually be there by clicking on this none then but you won't get anything so it will be really even more silenter than that silent mode we used to have till kit cat anyways when this device will get android 5.0.1 at that time silent mode will be added as google has said so i so this is all for this video and if you if you want to see android lollipop on moto e in action then i have made a separate video on that i leave the link in the description down below do check that out and if you are wondering how i got this lollipop on my moto e i i have made a separate video on that too i'll leave the link to the description down below that will be the second link in the description down below do check that out hit the likes button and stay tuned for more videos coming soon. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.